In this scenario, we will replace acetylcholine with a carbamate acetylcholinesterase inhibitor. Specifically, a molecule of neostigmine will be used as an example of a prototypical carbamate agent. Note how the multiple methyl groups on the left side of the molecule are attracted to the aromatic rings that are heavy in pi bonds. This is similar to what occurred with acetylcholine in the prior video. Also note how the right side of the carbamate molecule contains a carbamate group, that is a carbon double covalently bound to an oxygen atom, and a quaternary nitrogen, that is a nitrogen atom with four covalent bonds. Electronegativity differences between these atoms ensure intermolecular forces such as hydrogen bonding can occur and allow this area of the neostigmine molecule to interact with the polar residues of the cholinesterase active site. This too is not unlike what occurred with the acetylcholine molecule. Following binding of the carbamate molecule to the acetylcholinesterase active site, a typical electron-proton shuffle occurs that sets up for a series of chemical reactions that will ultimately inhibit the enzyme. A hydrolysis reaction of the ester group, that is where the carbon is double bonded to the oxygen, uh, results in a carbamylated serine residue, that is the uh, carbamate group is attached uh, to the serine via a covalent bond of oxygen and carbon. The carbamylated serine residue is much more resistant to the hydrolysis reaction that we saw in the acetylcholine molecule that allowed for reactivation of the cholinesterase uh, molecule when the acetic acid group uh, dis dissociated from the acetylcholinesterase active site. Um, in this particular situation, the um, oxygen-carbon bond at the serine residue resists hydrolysis uh, reaction and has a half-life of about 15 minutes, which causes a pretty significant inhibition of the cholinesterase enzyme. However, this reaction is associated with an equilibrium reaction, uh, which means that the bond is not as robust as uh, cases that we'll see in the future, and it is an essentially reversible reaction, which means that this particular toxicity is not nearly as severe as weaponized nerve agent. All right, that's the end of this particular video. Thanks a lot, guys, and as always, thanks for hanging in there.